Hey there everyone, welcome back to Tech Yourself, where we cover technology for everyone. Today I've got kind of a different video for you. We're going to be looking at a truly awful uh, tech commercial here and doing kind of a commentary style video on it. And I think you'll find this pretty entertaining if you're a techie you'll like this. So the commercial we are looking at today is for a product called the Extra PC. And what it is, is it's a USB flash drive with a bare bones version of Linux installed on it. And it's marketed as like the computer fixer. Like if your computer's hard drive is dead, you plug it in, you boot off the USB drive, and there you go. Not only is it working again, but it's way faster than the computer you know, used to be. So it's marketed as a fix for slow computers and computers with dead hard drives. It's obviously marketed towards older generations who don't know much about computers. And you'll see why uh, that's very evident uh, once we start watching here. So let's take a look. I found a way to run my old computers with no hard drive. Here it is. And it's not in this computer. All right, so this is actually, uh, when I saw this computer for the first time, I just about died laughing at this part. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid, but what he's holding up there, he says, you know, here is the hard drive, and it's not in this computer. That's not the hard drive. <laughs> um, this is a hard drive. I have one here. It's a laptop-style hard drive. I'm sure most of you know this, 2.5 inch. What he did was he pulled out the optical drive of a laptop, <laughs> and is using that. He probably got one of these, and then he just popped this right out of the side of it. They slide out pretty easy. And here's what he's claiming the hard drive is. As someone who's worked on laptops for a long time, that's just incredibly funny. And you know why they do it. It's because the average person who's watching this, who the advertisement is aimed for, isn't gonna know that. And while it's not inherently hurting anyone, it just seems kind of scummy to not even put in the effort to make the things in the video factual and correct. Anyway, I just, that caught my attention almost immediately, but let's keep watching, let's see. Here it is, and it's not in this computer. Okay, so what they did here was they're showing a little speed test to show how fast your computer is with extra PC, right? And they've got this, this old HP, running Windows Vista on the left side of the screen, and it takes 45 seconds-ish. Is that what it's? Let me check. Yeah, it takes about 45 seconds to get the video up, whereas with Extra PC, it took like two seconds to get the video up. Yeah, that's not necessarily incorrect. I'm sure it's much faster off of a USB flash drive than it would be off of an old mechanical hard drive running Windows Vista, so. Fair enough. It's a USB stick, a normal USB drive, and on this drive is an entire operating system. So we find our USB port that we want to use, we'll hit the power button, and start hitting the F12 key, it'll bring up. You know, I actually appreciate a lot that they put that in there, because they could have just said for marketing purposes that you stick it in the side, you turn it on, and boom, there you go. But for most computers, especially these older ones, they aren't gonna boot off of the uh, USB drive first thing. They're gonna try and boot off the mechanical hard drive. So it is kind of interesting and nice that they put that in there. You know, there is an extra step for a lot of these computers. It'll bring up a menu that you need. There it is, that was super fast. Yeah, it was super fast. <laughs> it's the BIOS menu. <laughs> you know, that's part of the BIOS. So that's not extra PC making that fast at all marketing right they just want to make they want to show you that with extra pc everything is fast now uh but the reality is most people have never been to that menu have never had to activate that menu so they won't know how fast it is we're going to go ahead and take the down arrow to usb storage device and hit enter and then watch the magic is it really that fast if they have to speed the video up <laughs> while it's booting up? I mean, I'm sure it's faster than whatever was in there before. Uh, probably Windows Vista and a mechanical hard drive, sure. Boom. <laughs> that was fast. <gasps> oh my <Yeah>. god. Jesus. <laughs> uh, that computer must have taken like six years to boot up before because she is really excited. <laughs> Goodbye, Glacier, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> such Goodbye, Glacier. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna have to Google that one. 
Goodbye, Glacier. Right. Let's see. Scientists bid farewell to Glacier loss to climate change. I, I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> That's what he said, right? Let's go back. Yeah. Goodbye, Glacier. Right? I, I, maybe I'm missing some common phrase here. Throw it down in the comments if you know what that is, but all right. Goodbye, Glacier, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, such a difference. An office always took forever. Let's see. Oh my god. Well, that's not office. <laughs> yeah, I get what they're going for. Microsoft Office probably took a while to open up and open office is free. So, you know, why not include it on there? That's what they're going to try and pass off as office. It is kind of scammy because that's not, you know, probably what they're used to using. But for most people, open office is probably fine. This laptop, uh, the hard drive is completely years and uh, theoretically extra PC should bring it back to life. I'm going to put it into the side. That's a little misleading. It kind of gives you the impression that extra PC is going to bring your dead hard drive back to life. But I get where he's, what he's saying is it'll bring the computer back to life that's got a dead hard drive. On a separate note, this guy sounds like Rob Lowe <laughs> a lot. This laptop right there and we're just going to hit the power button and we're gonna see what happens. Now, remember, I've seen this before, and I've seen that be <laughs> Okay, now wait a minute. That screen that was just up there, that, that, it has been locked on that screen for years. It's extra PC. No way. You plug in the extra P, an extra PC. Unbelievable. We were about to throw this to the curb, and my wife's computer broke. We couldn't afford to, you know, buy a new one. And I just had to try out extra PC. Let's go to Google first. Okay. Now, YouTube, look how fast this is. We'll go ahead and play a video right now. Okay. See how quick that loads? That is incredible. I think this thing is about 10 times faster than it was before. That's actually a pretty reasonable claim. I'm not denying that it does what it, you know, it does boot up into Linux and it probably runs way quicker than the Windows operating system that was on there before. The one thing though, as he says, they couldn't really afford to get a new computer. And I am not throwing shade at people who are in, you know, situations where they cannot afford to buy a new computer. But the thing is, is that this guy, in reality, if he's not an actor, would probably assume that a new computer is incredibly expensive because it wasn't all that long ago that computers were incredibly expensive. You know, budget-oriented computers weren't as readily available. And the thing is, is this thing costs about 50 bucks, I think. You could get a Chromebook for probably around 200, right? There you go, 130 bucks, you could buy like a, a refurbished Chromebook or something like that. And to be honest with you, that's probably gonna be better because not only do you get a very inexpensive laptop, but you get Google storage, so all your files are all backed up and everything like that. It's a very light operating system, very easy to use from my experience. For people who just need basic like web browsing, a Chromebook would be perfect. And it's probably gonna be more reliable than that flash drive, because flash drives die pretty frequently, at least in my experience. My thought would be that someone who buys this is gonna put like, you know, pictures and stuff on there. And then what happens when the flash drive dies? You know, it's not a miracle anymore. All your stuff is gone. I mean, I, I am so impressed with this. These guys are outstanding. Click here to learn more. Well, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna do that. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it, but I'm not gonna click on it because I downloaded the video in case they removed it. But let's go to Extra PC's website and let's just, I don't know, let's just see. Right as I load the web page, that video we just watched is the main one on their web page. Extra PC, you should really change that. Not a hard drive, it's just not. All right, so they have three different versions of this thing here available. How it, let's see, what, what do they got for how it works? Extra PC is a flash drive stick that you insert into an available USB port on your PC. Built on the proven foundation of Linux, it bypasses the old, slow, bloated Windows operating system to make your PC into a f blazing fast, high performance PC with a new, simple to use operating system. It even works with missing or faulty hard drives. You know what? That was a bad commercial, but on their website, they're not, they're not really hiding anything from you. It bypasses the old, slow Windows operating system. You get a new operating system. So they're letting you know it's not the same. It's not gonna be Windows. They, they talk about Linux. They do say it's gonna transform it into a blazing fast, high performance PC. It's not gonna do that, but marketing and 
For all intents and purposes, it probably will make it run faster. Existing computer is not altered, and you'll have access to all your old files. Well, maybe. If the hard drive in the computer is still working and it's just slow, yes. If the hard drive's dead, then no. At the end of the day, the product itself isn't like a stupid idea, but the fact that when you first go to their website, that's the commercial you see, and that's the one that's advertised on YouTube, I don't know, it sends mixed signals. It's like, do you really care about the product you're selling? Um, but yeah, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. I just thought that was kind of a funny commercial. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you thought about this video down in the comments below. Uh, anything I missed? What, what does goodbye glacier mean, right? <laughs> Leave that down there, and I will see you in the next video.